All across the world, animals are taken from their homes, their families, from the wild in which they know, and placed into captivity. They are deprived of the opportunity to satisfy their most fundamental needs. They are removed from the wild and caged in an artificial reality. Despite the benefits of zoos in terms of education and the ability to house endangered species, many animals are being tormented, mistreated, and their quality of life ultimately degraded. Due to lack of funds, poor management, and pure neglect, zoos can be lifelong prisons for some of our most loved and favorite animals. In order to understand just how harmful zoos can be for some animals, let's look at some quick facts and statistics to uncover the truth behind zoos. A fundamental issue with zoos is that many are unable to provide sufficient space for the animals. This is especially true for animals that roam. Tigers and lions have around 18,000 times less space in zoos than they would in the wild. Polar bears have 1 million times less space. While in captivity, animals die prematurely. African elephants in the wild live more than three times as long as those kept in zoos. Even Asian elephants working in timber camps live longer than those born in zoos. In addition, surplus animals are often killed by zoos when they become too old. For zoos, the interests of animals usually come second to attracting visitors and making money. Zoos routinely trade and relocate animals who they deem to have outlived profitability or who no longer fit into breeding schemes. Trading animals with other zoos can be extremely stressful for the animals who are relocated, as they leave behind social bonds and surroundings they have grown accustomed to. When kept in captivity, animals are deprived of the ability to express their natural desires and the effect this can have often on their mental and emotional health is tragically clear in the form of stereotypic behavior, also known as zoocosis. Living in captivity has been found to lead to some animal to neurosis and depression. Similarly, it has been revealed that SeaWorld trainers give psychoactive drugs and antidepressants to some of its marine animals. In 2014, the world was outraged when a healthy two-year-old giraffe named Marius was killed and cut up in front of spectators at Copenhagen Zoo, which the giraffe's body was later fed to lions. A short time later, Copenhagen Zoo was in the news again for killing four healthy lions to make room for a new male they wanted to breed. In 2010, a Freedom for Animals undercover investigator filmed sick animals left untreated and dead animals to rot on floors at Tweedle Farm Zoo. This organization, Freedom for Animals, had to take rabbits to a vet for a variety of infections. Care for God's creation is one of seven principles of Catholic social teaching. It states that we show our respect for the Creator by our stewardship of creation. Care for the earth is not just an Earth Day slogan, it is a requirement of our faith. We are called to protect people and the planet, living our faith in relationship with all of God's creation. Zoos are a part of our culture and of childhood experiences in our country. However, 
We must be mindful of the harm they do and how they may cause us to fail in our duty to protect the environment and all of its creatures. Zoos do not even begin to replicate the lush jungles, vast savannas, and dense forests where animals belong. Many animals in captivity have little control over their lives, including what they eat and who they share space with. They may not even get to decide who their mate is since some zoos artificially inseminate animals. Instead of providing lifetime care, zoos often trade, lend, sell, barter, and warehouse animals they no longer want. They leave animals vulnerable to a variety of dangers from which they have no defense or opportunity to escape. Animals in zoos have been poisoned, left to starve, deprived of veterinary care, and burned alive in fires. Some have died after eating coins, plastic bags, and other items thrown into their cages. Animals have been killed or stolen by people who were able to gain access to their exhibits. During natural disasters such as floods and wildfires, there may be no way to evacuate every animal to safety. Contrary to popular belief, Catholicism places strong emphasis on the value of non-human life. God gave humans dominion over the Earth's resources. However, the goods of creation are intended for the common good of all human beings, and we are responsible for caring for the earth, using its resources wisely, and preserving these resources for future generations. Animals are God's creatures. He surrounds them with his providential care. By their mere existence, they bless him and give him glory. For this reason, men owe them kindness. It goes against human dignity to cause animals to suffer or die needlessly. We show respect for the Creator by caring for all of His creation. Experience shows that disregard for the environment always harms human coexistence and vice versa. It becomes more and more evident that there is an inseparable link between peace with creation and peace among men. Pope Francis explained that when we fail to care for creation, the gifts we are given, we lose this sense of communion in our hearts and begin to lose the sense of fraternity with our fellow human beings. In essence, cruelty to animals leads to cruelty to humans. We are to respect the integrity of creation by caring for all creation as gifts from God, including animals. We should recall the gentleness with which saints, like St. Francis of Assisi, treated animals. Act. The purpose of this presentation is to not only see the issues within zoos and animal cruelty, but to educate viewers on how to help these issues. How will we act after learning these things? Educate. One way we can help all animals is to spread awareness and truth. We need to educate those who do not know and spread the word. This helps the cause because many people are simply unaware of the issues at hand. If more people knew about actual cruelty that zoo animals and animals in general faced, more people would be inclined to make a difference. See something, say something. You have the ability to save lives. When you see a puppy locked in a hot car, don't ignore it. When you see an elephant being whipped at the zoo, don't ignore it. The Animal Cruelty Hotline is 314-647-4400. Join groups. Here are some images of elephants that are forced to participate in the Ringling Brothers Zoo. According to Mick Brooklyn, a website documenting Brooklyn events, clowns brought out watermelons which the elephants smashed with their feet. The elephants seemed to be used to the routine and they didn't appear to be abused. But animal rights activists, including folks from PETA, 
held a small demonstration in front of the Eagle Warehouse to protest alleged mistreatment of the young elephants during training. After reading this article, I did more research. I learned how these elephants were trained to perform such acts. They are beaten by sticks and taken away from their mothers for weeks. Because of this, the circus got one of the largest penalties in circus history. Donate. The Humane Society of America is another animal rights group. They take donations to fund projects like pushing for stronger laws against animal cruelty and ending wildlife abuse and helping people coexist with their neighbors. Listed are more things that donations are used to help support. Animals, of course. While trying to help animal cruelty, it's also good to remember patience. Be always humble, gentle, and patient. Show your love by being tolerant with one another. Animal cruelty is not an issue that's going to cure itself overnight. We need to start in our communities and make little differences to make an overall change in the world. As Pope Francis states, Every act of cruelty towards any creature is contrary to human dignity. We have a moral obligation to save this earth and all of the living creatures on it, not only for us and our lives on earth, but for God, because he gave us this earth, and we need to respect it.